like my grandma would say who don't hear must feel just gonna get right into the video um the title is very just self-explanatory how i tested positive for covid 19. i'm just gonna tell you guys the real um when did it start um you guys know that i just recently um came back from miami um two weeks ago like two weeks ago maybe today um so when i was there i was lit i was having a blast like best trip i've ever went on maybe um but when i came back i knew i had to self isolate there's just a lot of rules that you know you're gonna have to take with taking the risk of traveling so i knew that when i came back to canada i had to self isolate for 14 days um so my last day in Miami, we missed our flight. Me, both me and my sister, we missed our flight. And uh, we were like, fuck. But then again, we were kind of like um, happy about it. Because like, you know, one more day of turn up, whatever. So um, I, we were kind of figuring out our hotel situation, the stand the third. And then as soon as we checked into our new hotel, I was feeling kind of off. Like I was feeling so tired and like, kind of just like a cold and chills right mind you i'm just thinking like it's it's a really it's a new hotel um that we checked into so a new room a new temperature so i'm like turn off this ac like i just felt so cold automatically that night i um felt like I felt like a feverish and just very like cold, right? So my sister, she's like, bitch, this is our one last night we paid extra money to stay in Miami. So we're just gonna turn up. So I was like, you know what? I just wanna take a little nap. I just wanna take a little nap. I was playing it off. Like, I'm just like, I'm gonna take a little nap, take some Advil, cause like, my head was kind of hurting me. And um, we'll, we'll go back at it again and we'll go back outside and turn up um so yeah i took some advil and i felt fine just went about my business um and we got lit whatever um so the next day when i tell you the next day i woke up and i felt like i got hit by a truck oh my god we got really lit that our last extra night so i'm thinking it's the liquor and then while I was sleeping though, I'm like trembling, like trembling, like, you know? And then my head's still kind of hurting me, but like, it wasn't a good sleep at all. Like it wasn't a good sleep at all. So I'm trembling. And then I'm thinking it's just the AC in this room and like the liquor. Um, So I wake up at like nine in the morning, I think. My sister, she's already trying to like pack her stuff and she was, um, she went outside to the store and she went to like the hot tub or something. Like she was off of this. She was like, it's my, it's our last day. Let's just enjoy it. But I was in bed. So I woke up around like 9 a.m., went to the washroom and it was the time of the month. So I'm like, oh, that's why I feel like shit. Like, oh my God, when I tell you I feel like it woke up, I took a picture of how bad I looked. I went to the store. I, I tried to make a, take a picture of how bad I looked when I went to the store. Like, I felt like crap. So I went to the store. This good thing um by the hotel, there's a Walgreens downstairs. I went to the store looking like a bum in my fucking pajamas, mask on, whatever. Like, I just woke up and I was like, I need to fix whatever's happening to me. Plus, I had to go get stuff for the time of the month. I got a ginger shot, I got like um, lemonade and I got some Advil and all the like a whole care package just so that I could feel better, you know, and then I um, got all those stuff. Then I took a hot, long shower and took two Advils and I was fine. Like, you know, after that, I was fine. I was like, oh my God, this is why I was feeling like shit, not knowing, <laughs> not knowing <laughs> that it was all COVID so fast forward short um i felt better throughout the whole day because like i was numbing the pain i guess um fast forward to home now um get on the plane i had we had two connecting flights one flight to chicago then straight to toronto 
and by the time I got off the plane at Chicago I felt like I I feel like me both me and my sister because she tested positive too both me and my sister knew the time Ooh, this is COVID bitch <laughs> like from we left <laughs> it's not it's, yo it's not even funny it's not even funny from we landed at Pearson we're like I think we got COVID because the both of us were feeling like we even popped that next Advil on the plane like we were feeling so like kind of like off right we were like okay this is probably COVID so we called our parents and like we told them like okay when we come home just stay away from us and stuff like that my sister she lives by herself so I had to make some calls she had to make some calls to just let people know like stay away from us and like we feel kind of sick um so when I got home I'm coming home to my grandma like and my little sister I'm just coming home to a house of people that are vulnerable so um as soon as I got in I got home really late maybe like 11 or 12 um in the night I told I just said hi I'm here but like no one came to like actually see me I didn't see anybody like you know they just heard when I came in and they know that I have to self-isolate for 14 days because this is what I did when I went to LA I just stayed in my room for the 14 days and I knew I didn't get COVID so I was like okay I'm just gonna like sanitize and stuff like that and just be careful and be mindful and not leave my room too much this time when I got home I was just like okay I feel like it it is it. it's this is it so um what were, the first night back home in my bed I'm telling you COVID is no joke like it's like the virus knows that it's nighttime so I went to bed probably the one of the worst sleeps I've ever had in my life I'm no no cat like I'm not even joking um like your body is like aching and i'm thinking like oh i'm aching that that was another thing i thought i was aching the first night um back at miami because i got like a new tattoo or something so i thought that was the aches like right here and just like around my arms but like i'm just thinking okay maybe it's the tattoo or something wrong so i i went to bed and like i had aches here i had aches and then i had like real aches and then like my head was hurting I jump up out of my sleep sweating like cold sweats you want the blanket off you then you don't want the blanket off you weird virus it's something that you would never ever feel when I'm sick I know how to self-medicate I know how to take care of myself and know how to fix the problem this one I did not know I took like some Tylenol cold and flu sinus uh, go to bed like self-medicate myself and just make myself feel better but this virus, I'm telling you guys, it's no joke. Like, they, it's like it knows when it's nighttime. It's so weird. My body started just shivering and like, and the nighttime, you just feel all the aches and pains. So, and I woke up like in tears. I prayed to God, like, oh my God. It was just a really bad sleep and really bad experience. So by the time I woke up, I was like, I called my sister and I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is COVID like yeah and then she called me she's like I feel so like down to like she just sounded a hot mess so we had to I had to act fast because like I'm in a house full of people but she's by herself thank god um so I was gonna um just go self-isolate with her she got up out of bed and went for a test in her area but the thing is within my area I had to um book an appointment so the appointment was two days booked in two days after i felt all these symptoms and i'm just like okay like i know i have it um if she gets her, her results then i know that I, i'll have it but i was i wasn't postponing it but i was like there's nothing that i can do like i'm still sick it doesn't matter if i test positive or negative right now in this moment if i need to know like i still gotta wait so um i booked my um I booked my appointment at the old hospital um two days after i felt after i got when i got home because they had like a time frame or something like that and i'm telling you honestly i'm just making this video to inform everybody um that covid is really not a joke because i don't know if like 
the way that you feel so i basically had all the symptoms i had like my head was hurting and then if you close your eyes kind of tight you feel like there's heaviness in your head um and then i had the aches and pains um i had the chills i had the um cold sweats um and then like my throat was kind of hurting a little bit um not too much but i had like this <clears throat> like night in miami i was getting a little like <clears throat> i was getting a little cough i'm thinking it's like a smoker's cough or something you know after a lit night i thought it was just one of those so i kept playing it off and thinking i'm fine my sister she's like why are you coughing out in public like this i'm like my throat i can't get it out and i just like kept like thinking that it was just like the loud pack whatever but clearly um as symptoms started coming more started realizing that it probably is not <laughs> so i don't know why i'm laughing i'm sorry guys this is very serious I, um i was like there's nothing that i can do about the symptoms um so i just got tested two days after um and <laughs> so my sister she got tested uh that same day and she got it up the nose and i was just like i can't prepare for this like she's like there's no way that you can pre prepare for it like it hurts so bad she was telling me so um when i went i told her everything that was happening and i was so careful like i was wearing gloves i was masked up i was like trying to not spread this virus to somebody else i was trying to be very cautious so um, when you go in, they just tell you, here's your number. And then like you go into the room. I told the girl basically everything that was happening to me, all my symptoms. And she's like, okay, you left the country. It's probably calm. Like it's, it's probably obvious that you do have COVID. So she was like, we're just gonna um, do the swabbing down your throat. <laughs> Bitch, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad that I never got it up the nose because I was psyching myself up for the up the nose thing. But the down the throat, she's like, you will gag and you will choke. So even she pushed it all the way down my throat and I'm still like, Ugh, like gagging, like gagging. Like, oh my God, when is this going to stop? Why does she keep going lower? Um, then it was done. Like, okay, fuck. I'm free. So they told me um, that um, it, you'll get your results in 24 to 48 hours. I already knew that my sister tested positive, so I went to her house after that and we decided that we were just going to quarantine together um, because like I already kind of already knew in my head like it doesn't matter about the results, I already know that I, this is it. So um, I went to her house to decide to quarantine because like I'm at a house where um, it's just like I can't take any risks, you know. So I didn't want that problem. So it was a little bit easier to the day that we um, tested positive was not the day that we contracted the actual virus. After I took the test, um, I checked online 24 hours into that and it said positive um, like I predicted. And then um, they called me a couple hours later just to notify me and let me know that my pu um, public health called me and they let me know my results and stuff like that. They ask you, um, when did you start giving symptoms? They call you just to kind of verify and like give a strong description so that you're not infecting anybody else. Like, did you leave your house and stuff like that? So um, I told them all the things that I did. I didn't leave my house so only to do the, that test and i only came in contact with like a uber driver or something like that so um they were like okay that's cool but they do have to notify the airline that i flew on and i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure that i got it in florida maybe at one of those parties um i don't know exactly where i picked it up from my my mom was like where do you think you picked it up from i was outside having a blast i don't know i was being very irresponsible i'm not going to lie there were some times where i was not probably wearing a mask or sometimes i didn't sanitize or touch the button and like you know when you're drunk you're really not thinking so i'm just going off of what my grandma told me she's like oh don't hear must feel because i definitely feel this one i definitely feel it because boy this virus is no joke i'm telling you guys if you have it i'm i'm just thinking about like somebody who wasn't healthy or like 
an elderly person getting this a younger person getting this their body will definitely take over like you know once i'm sick i know how to really take care of myself i only lasted um about four days like these cold flashes um i'm telling you i was scared to go to bed at night time like i was actually kind of scared to go to bed because like it's like the virus knew it was nighttime and i just was not having it these symptoms only lasted about five four to five days um that we started to feel better um so public health did call me and they called my sister like every day to check up on us and they told us um by december 24th which was christmas eve that we can go out and um, be with our families again because we're not um in, in asymptomatic or um we're not contagious just to be sure and cautious we just spent the christmas together we weren't trying to take any chances and just like jump the gun so um we waited probably like five days even after that just so that we could be sure that we didn't infect our family members before we um decided to just go out and just be like hey i'm corona free like no we we waited we waited even the public health told us december 24th we waited so today this is the first day that i even got myself put together and um we'll have one day till the new year but honestly this was, this was the 2020 just fucking tip at the end like i thought okay my trip was so amazing nothing else can come between this 2020 really said no bitch 2020 finale like this done me for the year where i said i need to get out of 2020 asap <laughs> like this dawned me like, glad i'm better now honestly um both me and my sister are better now i'm back home and i just feel so much better obviously i'm taking vitamins you see the vitamins in the back um i'm taking some vitamins just to boost my immune system and i'm still eating healthy and just taking care of myself after so they told me if i take a test right now i would still show that positive for like about eight weeks or something like that you never really it never really like leaves your system for a while um but honestly i didn't i'm gonna be honest i didn't take this virus seriously i'm probably one of the only people in my family or people that people like that people around me know that had covid and tested positive for covid i knew that florida was a high state with um a lot of covid cases and I didn't listen and I still went with the flow. So just guys, just I'm just gonna be like real and just like be honest and just tell you guys, just be very careful. Like this virus is real and it could affect uh, your other family members or just cause it doesn't affect you personally doesn't mean that it doesn't affect others. So um, I get it now as to why we're really locked down in this house and we should not be out partying and like having a blast actual serious thing wanted to just make this video to just like sharing my story like of um how covid feels and just just trying to put it out there to just be a little bit more cautious um and i definitely uh will be more um cautious with um the, this virus and everything i'm mean, you're not gonna see me outside like that i know i really got the virus fuck it but you guys just be very careful and very mindful of like what you guys are doing and you know it's real out here it's real um, appreciate you guys um for all the people that checked up on me i didn't really tell a lot of people but thank you guys um for the ones who knew and checked up on me and i'm doing okay now so um thank you guys for watching this video just sending you guys um positive message before the new year ends and hope you guys have a safe and blessed new year